What's up everybody, my name's Joey Corbin, and welcome to the first episode of The Mind of Joey, where we talk about things that need to be talked about, just things that make the news, or things that people, you know, have opinions on, have strong opinions on, um, things like that. So, first of all, today's topic is, um, do video games cause people to go out and kill people? And, um... I'm going to automatically say no, and I'm going to explain why I think this. First of all, I play video games, and I play violent video games. Violent video games are my favorite video games. I love to get in a video game, run people over, kill people, mow them down with fucking, you know, machine guns, blow their brains out with a sniper rifle from, like, you know, 20 yards away, just... Anything. I love just massacring people on video games. But would I do that in real life? And the answer is no. And the reason why is because in real life, I tell my parents and my sister, don't tell me about death. You know, don't tell me when someone dies like that. I don't want to hear about it. And the reason why is because when I hear about someone dying in real life, it ruins pretty much my day or half of my day. And I'm serious about this. It really does. And it, I don't know why. It just makes me, you know, feel bad like half the day just thinking about this person that could have lived longer and, you know, could have been happier. And now they're just dead and they're just nothing. And that, that, um, I don't know. It just, it doesn't sit well with me. So, no, I don't want to go out and kill people. I, I could not, I could never, ever take a person's life because I, I think it's, fucked up for one thing to take someone's life it's very selfish i don't know it's just really a wrong thing to do because people deserve to live and you know do goals and live life to the fullest and that's why i would never kill a person or why i would never kill anybody and you know what? i got one more thing to say too um they say that serial killers or i heard serial killers say this before because i'm really also into uh watching serial killer documentaries um, reading up on serial killers. I love anything to do with serial killers. I know that sounds crazy. Um, but let me tell you why. And the reason why is because I want to know how could someone, you know, do these things. And uh, how can they do this and just be okay with it? I don't get it. I don't understand it. So I like to read different serial killers, different reasons why they do it. Um, how their childhood was. Maybe how they became this person. Um, that's just the thing I like to read about and I don't like reading books that much but anything like this I'll probably read um probably not the whole thing just a little bits of it but um I heard about serial killers saying this that when they were bullied in school they would have you know dreams of killing those people and I thought to myself you know I'm different than people and I was like I could never be a serial killer and the reason why is because <sighs> Whenever I, I was bullied in school, but whenever I dreamed about these bullies, instead of killing them, I dreamed that I saved the whole school and I became popular. And that's a funny fucking dream. I know it sounds uh, like a nerdy dream. But anyways, that was my dreams. I would always dream of me saving them in order to, you know, get respect from them and become their friends and become popular. And um, I was never popular in school until the last year, the last year or two, and that's because I made friends with people that were popular, and then I became friends of their friends, and friends of their friends, and that's how basically how you get popular. Look at my dog, she's licking the bed. She licks the bed. Does your dog lick the bed? It's really weird. Look, this is her hat. She told me to keep it over here, so that's what I'm doing. Um... But yeah, anyways, back to the topic. So no, I don't think people will go out and kill people if they play video games. Um, unless those people are already psychologically, you know, unstable in the head. And, and they already fascinate, you know, fantasize about killing people and stuff like that. Now possibly if someone like that plays a, a video game like Grand Theft Auto, it might, you know, make make them want to go out and kill someone more than if they didn't play that video game. And the reason why is because... The reason why I think this is because... You say someone's unstable in the head. And they want to kill people. And they fantasize about this all the time. But they never do it. But then they go and play with Grand Theft Auto. 
and they're and they're kind of doing it right. They're kind of living that fantasy, and then they they want more. They want it to be real. Now that's the only way I think somebody would go and kill people because of a video game. They have to be psychologically damaged in the head, and they have to already be you know a uh, person who fantasizes about that stuff. Now, if you agree with me on this, or if you don't agree with me on this subject, um, let me know in the comment section. Uh, you know, I want to, you know, I want to hear your guys' thoughts, your opinions, and I want to, um, you know, talk back uh, with you guys about it and have a conversation with you guys. Um, that's the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching uh, The Mind of Joey. I think that's what the name is. I already forgot. Is that the name? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Pretty good mind there, huh? I can't even remember, like, what's the time say? I can't even remember six minutes ago. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching the show. Be sure to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.